Hi, I'm Lauren Rio from Jam with Lauren. And right now we're going to talk about um, placement and your bow and how it affects your tone. Placement is one of the three ingredients. Um, talking about weight or pressure, placement, and then speed. So in this video, we're going to talk about placement. Um, definitely check out the accompanying blog post that talks about the other ingredients in the other videos. Right now, we're going to work on keeping our bow in one consistent place. So placement refers to where the bow is, whether or not it's closer to the bridge or closer to the fingerboard. In this video, we're going to keep it in the sounding point, which is almost center, but um, leaning just a touch towards the bridge. That's where my sounding point is on my fiddle and a lot of people's. So um, in, um, in the blog post that, about tone on the site, we talk about an exercise that is dividing your bow into quadrants. And so I wanna talk about, um, I'm gonna sure you can see me, there's a little sun glare there, but you're going to start in the middle of your bow and you're going to move to the tip. And you're, if you watch your bow, you'll hopefully be able to see that your bow is staying in a parallel line um, with your bridge and your bow, you're in a nice rectangle right here. Okay, imagine that rectangle, and we're gonna turn into a triangle, like this. Let's do it on the D string. So you can see, I'm gonna lift myself up here so you can see that triangle, and then I'm going to use my elbow to return to center. So I'm gonna do those two again. This is the first quadrant, middle to tip, and then tip back to middle. Okay, now that we're in the middle, I'm gonna go from the middle to the frog, and I'm in my rectangle, but I'm gonna turn into a triangle again, actually two triangles. And I used my wrist to lead up to my nose. I'll do that again. So here we are in the rectangle, and you can see that my bow is still straight. Um, and I also, I kind of imagine that this is um, like a fishing pole, and there's a lure um, uh, hanging down, and the weight of the tip is there. So here's middle to tip, and then, um, I just said middle to tip, excuse me, middle to frog, and now, now we're gonna go frog back to middle, and I'm gonna use my elbow to take me back to the middle. Okay, so here I am. So we've done, let's do um, middle to frog again, and then frog back to middle. Okay, so those were the four quadrants, and I divided them into twos, then the next step is to do them all together. So middle to tip, and then tip to middle, middle to frog, frog to middle without stopping. So instead of starting at the frog and going to the tip and then going back to the frog, this is a different way to think about the systems or the segments of your bow. Try that on all the different strings. All right, thanks for checking this out.